Hello again, welcome to my channel. Um, today's video is another uh, horror themed uh, video and uh, the film I'm going to be reviewing today is uh, Tucker and Dale vs Evil from 2010. The film stars uh, Tyler Labine, Alan Tudyk, Katrina Bowden and Jesse Moss and is directed by Eli Craig. Uh, the Wikipedia uh, plot synopsis says Alison, Chad, Chloe, Chuck, Jason, Naomi, Todd, Mitch and Mike are going camping in West Virginia. While at a gas station they encounter Tucker and Dale two well-meaning hillbillies who have just brought the vacation home of their dreams, a run-down lakefront cabin deep in the woods. On Tucker's advice, Dale tries to talk to Alison, but because of his inferiority complex and appearance, he only scares her and her friends. On the way to the cabin that Tucker has recently bought, they are pulled over by Sheriff Gurr, who warns them of the dangers of the area. Tucker and Dale arrive at their decrepit cabin and begin repairing it. Nearby, in the woods, Chad tells the story of the Memorial Day Massacre, a hillbilly attack which took place 20 years ago. The college kids go skinny dipping where Tucker and Dale are fishing, and Alison startles hits her head. Tucker and Dale save her from drowning, but her friends think she has been kidnapped. When Alison wakes up in Tucker and Dale's cabin the next day, she is initially scared but gradually befriends them. The other college kids arrive at the cabin to save Alison from her psychotic captors and Chuck runs away to get the police. While Dale and Alison are inside the cabin, Tucker angers some bees and frantically waves around his chainsaw which the college kids misinterpret as hostility. They scatter to, through the woods where Mitch accidentally impales himself on a broken tree, killing himself. After finding Mitch's body, Chad persuades the others that they are in a battle for survival. Alison's friends follow Tucker and Dale back to their cabin and see Alison helping out with construction of an outhouse but they assume she is being made to dig her own grave. The college kids attack, but Todd and Mike end up accidentally killing themselves. And Alison is accidentally knocked unconscious by Dale's shovel. The other kids assume the hillbillies killed the two when they see Tucker trying to save Mike from the wood chipper. Tucker and Dale think the college kids are suicidal and that Contacting the police will make them murder suspects. Chuck arrives back with Sheriff Gurr, who expresses doubt over Tucker and Dale's suicide pact theory. Gurr goes inside the cabin and accidentally kills himself with a loose beam. Then Chuck accidentally kills himself with the sheriff's gun. Chad reappears and sh attempts to shoot Tucker and Dale, but only manages to capture Tucker whom he ties upside down from a tree and then tortures Tucker and cuts off two of his fingers. He sends them with a message to Dale to come and get Tucker. Dale leaves to rescue Tucker while Chad and Naomi return to the cabin to save Alison. When Alison tries to explain the situation, they accuse her of having Stockholm Syndrome. Tucker and Dale return and Alison attempts to lead a calm discussion. Chad says his grandmother told him that his father was killed in the Memorial Day Massacre and his mother was the lone survivor. Jason and Chloe break in to save everyone and a fire breaks out. Tucker, Dale and Alison escape. Naomi, Chloe and Jason die and Chad, insane and scarred, vows revenge. After a car crash, an injured Tucker tells Dale that Chad has taken Alison to an old sawmill. At the sawmill, Chad ties Alison up and forcibly kisses her. Dale arrives and rescues Alison and the two barricade themselves inside an upstairs office where they discover news clippings revealing Chad's father to be the killer and rapist, not one of the victims. 
Chad becomes enraged and Dale stops his attack by throwing a box of camel tea at Chad, giving him an asthma attack. Chad, standing by a near window, convulses and falls off the building. The police and a news crew arrive late at the cabin and broadcast a news report stating that the deaths appear to be the result of a suicide pact and a deranged killer who is revealed to be Chad, who has survived the fall. Tucker watches the report on the news while convalescing in the hospital. Dale enters and they discuss Tucker's recovery. Tucker asks Dale whether he managed to invite Alison on a date and is happy to hear the two of them are going bowling. Later that night at the bowling alley, Dale encourages a fellow hillbilly to talk to some girls and to just be himself. As Dale and Ali confess their feelings for each other and kiss, the new hillbilly accidentally knocks out a girl in the background, starting a new misunderstanding. So uh, that's the uh, plot synopsis and uh, now time for my ratings. Uh, horror, um, which is a combination of uh, the fear and uh, gore ratings from my uh, previous reviews. I've now merged them into one. Um, for horror, I've given it a five. Um, it's not really very scary. Um, there was a, a quite a few gore um, effects, which adds... Uh, horror to the uh, comedy of the film there uh, aren't any um, real uh, jump scares or any other scares in the film um, because you know this is a kind of uh, a kind of spoof um, kind of spoof or parody um, of the horror genre um, you can see them come in and they're mainly played for laughs rather than for scares uh the story i'm giving this a nine um it is a quite a good um uh, subversion of uh the horror genre um where you know that um tucker and dale aren't the bad guys they aren't the um texas chainsaw massacre Leatherface hillbillies that uh, the college uh, kids uh, think that they are, and all the uh, subverted uh, horror tropes are um, very well played out. Uh, if you watch a lot of uh, horror films, the twist um, that uh, Spoilers, well, I've already mentioned it, but uh, that Chad is uh, actually um, a descendant of a hillbilly himself. And so uh, he's basically fight, trying to fight against um, what he actually is. You can uh, kind of see uh, come in. Um, but it is a uh, very good story. For enjoyment, I've given this an eight. Um, it is very enjoyable. Um, if you're watching it for what it is, uh, it is very funny. It's uh, well acted, uh, especially by uh, Tyler Levine and uh, Alan Tiddick. Um, they played their characters of uh, Tucker and Dale uh, very, very well. Um, most of the college kids are just basically uh, gore fodder uh, for their kills, but uh, Katrina or Katrina um, Bowden, who plays uh, Alison, um, she's uh, she's very good in the film, and uh, Jesse Moss, who plays Chad, um, he uh, really uh, plays a complete uh, psychotic sociopath uh, very very well. I uh, recommend this film for people who um, enjoy comedy and not, but not necessarily horror, um, because this is uh, what it is. Um, the comedy kind of uh, will override a um, horror newbie's um, feelings of trepidation, as uh, yeah, it's not scary at all. Um, but it is very funny. The average rating I've given is a 7.3.
And what are your thoughts on uh, Tucker and Dale versus Evil? Um, please uh, put them down in the uh, comment section down below. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please uh, give it a like. And uh, remember to uh, subscribe to the channel. And uh, I will see you again next time.